no way. Uh -huh. I need that black car. Have you put this on YouTube channel? Yeah. Cold to the state. Cold, cold to the state. I sure how to get. Yeah. 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 Welcome 2019 West Texas Football League. We have an amazing season about to take off, and I hope you guys are ready. First, though, I've got a couple questions for you. Who is going to be the surprise team this year? Um, I think Cody is going to make a comeback this year. I think uh, he's going to be humiliated in the dress, and I think that uh, he's going to make a strong comeback, and I think he will be the surprise team. It's going to be me. I'm going to win it all. I want my title back. I want my belt. It's that time. Time to take the reins. Todd with the surprise because he's going to be surprised when he finishes in the bottom two. It's going to be Todd because we're all going to be surprised that his team sucks and shits the bed and he barely pulls out a win against Slow Glenn in the Dress Bowl Championship. Old Man Scott's going to be the surprise team next year because fantasy football is all he has left. We will be Cody. Where's the first? Fuck, hell no. But he'll be out of the dress bowl. He'll be safe and sound in the regular playoffs to go out in the first round, as usual. All right, those are some pretty good answers. I like them. Um, except hardly anybody thinks I'm going to be the surprise team and I haven't won in forever, but that's okay. Second question is, who's going to be in the dress next year? It's kind of a consensus every year, and we 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 may be going back to it, but it doesn't happen. Sure. Well, that's a pretty easy question. I'm going to go with Slow Glenn. He hasn't really given me a reason not to think that, even though he squeaks by last year, got out of it. Jared's going to be the one in the dress next year because he sucks at fantasy and he sucks at washers. It's going to be Trent. He got out of it one year. Karma's not on his side. This year, Trenton will be on the corner where he belongs. Okay. What do you think, Coop? Who's going to be in the dress next year? Scott. Really? Scott. <laughs> Scott. Scott's going to be in the dress next year. Punk has looked the best in the dress, uh, but I think this year it will be Slow Glenn. Let's go Trenton in the dress, see if he'll wear it or take the punishment, but it'll be fun either way. Well, that wasn't what I expected. Expected to be a whole lot more Slow Glens, but kind of with everybody else, I'm going to go a different route this year. I'm going with Scott. So, speaking of Scott, had to call the ambulance on him a couple weeks ago at work. What's the odds? What's the odds of us having to call the ambulance on him this year at the draft party? Personally, I don't think the odds are that great, but I guarantee he'll throw something. I don't really think that the odds are very good. I've, I've been in this league now for uh, three years, and um, I've yet to see Scott uh, uh, get in any kind of trouble or, uh, or act like an idiot. Um, more than normal, um, so I think uh, I think the odds are very low. 100 plus degrees, swimming pools, multiple mini pools, or whatever you want to call them. Scott, that that just equals Scott's going to the hospital. I don't know if there's a story or anything in the history of the world that this person has gotten alcohol poisoning and drowned in the same moment but there's a pool and a lot of alcohol so the odds of Scott going to the hospital are pretty high I would say say it's about four to one odds that we call the ambulance on Scott this year the odds of the ambulance having to be called on my occasion I'm gonna say about 80 20 80 20 it's gonna be called I might even make an appointment I don't know if you can I'm gonna have to Google that but I'm gonna have somebody on standby speed dial I don't think there's any chance an ambulance for Scott during the draft but he'll definitely be in the ER the next day in IVs we've seen him drink he can't handle it especially not shots so cheers y'all time to go 
And last but not least, for the person who didn't follow instructions, but I like it. Take it away, Jared. All right, Fantasy Football 2019. We got three questions this year from uh, the Commish. Who's going to be in the dress? Who's going to be the surprise team? That's number two. And number three is uh, Scott going to be in an ambulance this year? Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to have to go with, uh, in the dress, Slow Glenn, 100% of the time. I don't think uh, Cody's going to be in that dress again. Punk just didn't dig it. Uh, we also have surprise team. That's a question number two. Uh, Cody and uh, Fast Glenn were competing for uh, the dress last year. So I think our surprise team, it's going to be Fast Glenn. See if he can do anything in the draft this year. Michael's not going to be there to draft for him, so we'll see. Uh, question three is, percentage Scott might be in an ambulance. I'm going 95%. 95% for Scott. Yeah, definitely. And uh, as always, who's going to be number one this year? That's the monkeys with crayons. Knocking it out this year again. We're going to take number one, take some money home again. Poor Scott, always getting picked on. But it's all good. We're going to have a good time this year. A um, couple changes coming this year. Uh, we've adjusted some field goal scoring because Trenton bitches all the time. The punishment for the dress bowl. There's no opt-out, or there is an opt-out, but it's full punishment. There's no partial opt-out. And uh, we added that you can wear your dress to, to breakfast and get out of 15 minutes on the corner. may help out. So, we're going to have some ribs. going to be smoking a ton of ribs, a ton of alcohol. The buzzard's going to be back. We've got some draft board attendance, uh, courtesy of the CFL initiation. And uh, let's go out and have a good time. Hope you guys are ready.